1 Corinthians 2, verse 15. Ha de pneumatikos anacrine tapanta, autos de hup udenos anacrinitai. This verse, verse 15, must be read in close contrast with verse 14. In verse 14, Paul is talking about ha psukikos, the carnal man. And now he is contrasted with ha de pneumatikos, the spiritual man. But the spiritual man, de here, adversative, judges on a crinae. This is third singular, present, indicative, active. But the spiritual man judges tapanta, all things. Tapanta, neuter, plural, and accusative, the direct object of on a And he himself, autos de, notice de is postpositive, cannot be the first word in a period, and he himself, hup udenos, by no one. Udenos is masculine, singular, and genitive. It is the genitive of udes, and this is a third declension or consonant stem ending. Udes, udenos, udeni, and udena are the forms, nominative, genitive, dative, and accusative, respectively. And by no one, who pa with a genitive, regularly connotes agency in Greek, like ab with the ablative in Latin. And by no one, anacrinitai, is he judged. Anacrinitai is third singular, third person singular, present, indicative, and passive. It's to be seen in contrast with Anacrine, third singular present indicative active. He judges all things, but he himself by no one is judged. Autos, this means by no human being. He's judged only by his judge, the Lord. Autos is the subject of anacrinitai. It's masculine, singular, and nominative. This word autos has three distinct meanings in Greek. Here are the three meanings. In the nominative, it's intensive and means ipsa, himself or herself. It's a pronoun. In an oblique case, which is anything but the nominative, genitive, dative, or accusative, it's the third person pronoun and would be translated as he, she, it, they, etc. Both of these are predicate position, that is, without an article. In the attributive position, it means idem, the same. Ta auta is a very common expression that means the same things or the same items under consideration. So two predicate uses and one attributive use.